Oh, hello world. This is Chris Wells here. I am going to be performing the unboxing of a Blackmagic cinema camera. Now, this is the EF model that I um, have decided to order. Reason being, I've been waiting over six months for the MFT version of this. And I um, have gotten a hold of the uh, distributor and the main headquarters of this company. And essentially, they don't have any MFTs in stock, apparently. So... I just went ahead and said, just give me the EF because I'm sick of waiting. So, here we go. Ah, popcorn. Or peanuts, whatever you call it. You gotta watch this stuff. It gets all over the place. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Been waiting months. <laughs> Might as well just let this shit fly and pick it up later, huh? Alright. There's the box. Looks like a standard box of something you'd pick up in the store. And here we go. Looks like a getting started disc. The software keys in there, I'll get that out later. Manual. Software and manual for it. And there's the DaVinci Resolve that ships with it. Now that's a, it's not a bad deal, you know, 3000 for the camera and then, you know, you get $1,000 for the software with it. So that's pretty good. And I'm in Australia, so that's the uh, Australian plug. It's, uh, I don't know what that is. Japan or something. I don't know, Japan is the same as the States, probably Europe. That's Europe, there's America. So it gives you all the international plugs. And the adapter, just looking at the voltage here. 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. 80 amp max, 12 volt DC adapter. Okay, so the strap for it, it looks like. Oh boy, that's heavy. That is heavy. Holy cow. It's like a little bowling ball. There you go. That's what it looks like out of the box.
where your SSD goes. Here's where you mount it. Another mount. Big fan down there. And there's the display. And what else we got here? the rear shield and that's it that looks like the the contents of the entire box and I'll just show you some of the accessories real quick that I've already picked up for it I've been just waiting months for this thing so I've pretty much got everything else I need for it We've got here now I've, I, I took a couple days reading on the internet what kind of SSD to stick in here I haven't tested it yet, but I'll let you guys know how this goes. This is, I picked up two of the um, OWC solid state drives, Pro 6G, Mercury Extreme, 240 gigabytes each on those. So when we're shooting, you know, we, when it gets full, because like 30 minutes of raw, we'll fill up one of these. So, you know, we'll just dump one and then put the other one in so we can keep shooting. And then... To use this thing, you have to keep it always plugged in because without being plugged in, it only it only will record like an hour and a half or something like that. So I got this power this power pack. You're apparently you can get like four or five more hours being out without having to be plugged in. So um, so yeah, that's good. Just have that extra extension. And that'll do it. Um, I'm a film student right now, so I'm going to get plenty of use out of this. I'm going to be able to do all sorts of cool things. I'll be doing some visual effects with it. Just pretty much putting this thing to the test, doing everything I can with it. So, um, so yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos. Um, I'm actually running late for class now, so I've got to get out of here. And um, appreciate you guys for watching. And if you're thinking about getting this thing, just uh, stay tuned and, and I'll show you the videos that I make to help you with that decision. If it's something you want to go ahead and get or, or if maybe other ideas that you're interested in, in um, shooting yourself, maybe you'll get those watching my videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.